seven news series hitting the road each week, highlighting the people, places, and projects that fill Western New York communities with pride. Since we first rolled out Believe in Buffalo, we've told stories in Niagara Falls, Newfane, North Tonawanda, Buffalo, and tonight we are in Depew. The focus this evening, a new craft beer destination for Western New York beer lovers. It's called Nickel City Brews, and it has battled some adversity since it, its very first days. My colleague Jeff Russo got a chance to check it all out, joining us live tonight on Broadway. Hey, Jeff. Ashley, as you can tell, it is a busy night here at Nickel City Brews, but this is a far cry from how things started out. This family-owned tap room has a great backstory, and is this week's Believe in Buffalo. We are at Nickel City Brews. It is a 40 faucet craft beer tap room and can shop. It's a beer lover's paradise with a community feel in the village of Depew. It's kind of a social place to come. It's kind of like a coffee house, but you get to have a lot of different flavors of, of beer. Western New York native Brian Zittle co-owns Nickel City Brews on Broadway in Depew with his wife Bridget. We specialize in rotating different craft beer options. If you come in every two weeks, you're going to find probably 20 new draft options. If you come in once a month, you're going to find probably 40 new draft options. Nickel City Brews is years in the making for the Zittles, but it hasn't been the easiest of roads. After laying the groundwork in late 2019, the family went all in on the tap room just days before the start of the pandemic. We ended up striking a deal and getting the key on this place on March 3rd of 2020. And, uh, Two weeks later is when, you know what, hit the fan, and we figured, all right, how long is it going to last? A couple months? I was coming here to, to build the space along with help from a lot of good friends, and here we are still dealing with it two years later almost. How did you survive through COVID, you think? We have very good support from the local clientele that we've developed. Um, we do have a canning machine for the draft. So we're able to move product even when no one was allowed in here. We were still able to get those flavors that they can't find at the supermarkets or in the beverage stores. We were able to can the draft and get it out the door. As restrictions pulled back, the Zittles pushed forward, offering customers a huge selection from our celebrated local breweries, along with hard to find options from the Northeast, the West Coast, and even Europe. And for the dedicated beer enthusiasts, there's even a Meet the Brewer tasting series. A lot of people like to talk about craft beer. And they come in, we pour some samples, they discuss, they talk, they hang out, they meet, they greet, and they enjoy it. Throw in special events, trivia nights, and cornhole, and you have a beer community staple in the making. Anything that's out there that I think uh, it's time to introduce the Pew and Lancaster to, we bring it in. Yes, Ashley, a story of resilience for sure. And there are expansion plans here for this tap room. The hope is here to open up this side door here at a garage door and a patio so folks can enjoy one of the 40 beers that are on tap outside during the summer months. If you have a story that you want to be included in our Believe in Buffalo initiative, check out our website at wkbw.com slash believe in Buffalo. But for now, reporting live I've been to Pew, Ashley. I gotta go play some cornhole, so I'll check back in <laughs> later on. Oh, it looks like such a fun place. Western New York has such a great beer community. All right, Jeff, thank you.